Diablo has always had a class that is just more popular than others. Perhaps it's the design of the character that make it look like an assassin hired to take someone out. Or it could be the character's abilities, like raining down a legion of arrows. Or maybe it's just because it's always been one of the strongest and most feared classes in the series. This is our look at Diablo 4 and the Rogue class. Thank the heavens for you. Heavens? I assure you, Father. The heavens didn't send me. Rogues have always been a fast and agile fighter using a combination of melee and ranged attacks such as flurry or traps such as death trap to help destroy their enemies. The skills are fueled by one resource, energy. As opposed to the former from Diablo 3 being hatred and discipline, we only have one resource now, which is energy. Energy is a resource that slowly recovers over time and can be filled up through various effects such as skills or in-game mechanics. Energy is a way to fuel your core skills and allow you to use some of your most powerful abilities. When it comes to weapons, rogues and or demon hunters have always had a wide arsenal of weapon choices that they can use in Diablo, such as one-handed swords, daggers, bows, and even crossbows. But what really sets the rogue apart in Diablo 4 is the ability to equip two one-handed melee weapons and a ranged weapon at the same time while swapping between them at any time depending on the ability that you're using. So be prepared to become the ultimate assassin in Diablo 4. Equipping two different weapon types isn't the only ability the rogues have in Diablo 4. Their class mechanic is called specialization. It's a system where allowing you to choose one of three active specializations to empower the playstyle of your choice. Starting with combo points where your basic skills now generate a combo point that certain skills will consume for additional effects such as barrage where each combo point increases the damage by 20% and the number of arrows by one. Or simply stacking three combo points at the same time before entering concealment and then when you attack a monster, you get a guaranteed critical strike. Whenever you attack a marked enemy in a group, it fills up your inner sight gauge, which is the second specialization. And when it's full, you gain unlimited energy for four seconds. And that's when you bust out some of your strongest abilities in the game. Unfortunately, the third specialization, preparation, isn't available to us. Blizzard has not released any information on it, but as soon as we find out, I will be letting you guys know. The Rogue has four different damage types to help fuel any playstyle in Diablo 4, and they are physical, cold, poison, and shadow. Physical is going to be your base damage type, which you're going to use for most of your abilities that are going to be set until you apply an element of your choice to them or you're using them in combination with another skill. This happens to be the use of the new feature in Diablo 4, which is called the weapon imbue system, which means you're going to be able to change which elemental style you want to use at any given time. For example, you could be focused on using shadow abilities for positioning or then switch to poison abilities to kill your enemies over time. What's so great about this ability is being able to change your playstyle instantly without having to change your build as we've seen in previous Diablos. Cold or Frost is one of the most popular elements for the rogue because its ability to freeze or slow enemies down. This is great for a crowd control playstyle where you want to move kind of unhindered from your enemies while controlling how the battle is happening. Combining crowd control effects with other classes using the cold element or frost element can help freeze the enemies much faster to give you and your teammates the upper hand. Next is Poison, and historically has always been a staple for the Rogue class where using various Poison abilities to deal damage over time or DOT. This playstyle is great for stacking multiple attacks or abilities at the same time on an enemy or group of enemies so it deals damage to them while you're continuing to use in a different attack against them. This is especially good for taking out those pesky minion creatures that have low health to begin with or focusing on a very strong monster so that way you can kill it faster. Lastly and certainly not least is the shadow element which is somewhat new to Diablo 4. The closest thing we have to it is using the discipline abilities from the demon hunter in Diablo 3. Emerging from the shadows unnoticed grant the rogue special bonuses when attacking. Using the shadow abilities allow the rogue to set up a series of attacks to deal critical strikes. The shadow element is most known for the great defensive and escapable abilities 
getting yourself out of harm's way from like a big explosion or some poison puddle that you're standing in. Becoming invulnerable for two seconds and applying traps to an enemy to help reset a fight, heal up using a potion, and then destroy the enemies. I think the rogue is going to be one of the most used classes in Diablo 4. A lot of this is going to be because of the nostalgia from Diablo 2 and them bringing the class back. And because all those Demon Hunter fans like myself from Diablo 3, this is a perfect transition into Diablo 4. And I think one of the most popular classes amongst probably the Druid, I think. The rogue is going to be a very fast and flashy class with a lot of zing and pizzazz there's going to be so many cool abilities that the rogue is going to be able to use in diablo 4 which is going to separate it from any other class which i think is going to make it a very popular choice it's also going to be what's going to set your rogue different than any other rogue in the game because of all the different elemental choices being able to you know switch them on a dime and use them while you're in battle i think it's just going to be such a unique class amongst any of the other ones let me know what you guys think of the rogue down in the comments below make sure to like this video if it really has helped you out and subscribe if you're new here and as always guys stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace